Hey guys, what's going on? It's Master Joe's Weekly. <laughs> Another delicious intro. With a bicep drop this time, new Bosch. I did see you threw that in there. In this uh, weekly, this this week's edition of Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode thirty-seven. I uh, double check that. I actually watched Dill scribble that shit on the board. And even says it on your piece of paper in front of you. Does it? It does too. Topics of discussion, noob. Uh, back in stock. Mm hmm. New products. Yes, yeah, sir. Coming soon. Yeah, buddy. Why did you ask me so it says uh, it says hiring. Oh, hiring. It and says uh, people's TM. cut, and then TMJ in the USA part two. And ask Neve. You can't read my writing anymore. Well, you, you need to get your eyes right, checked. Well, you know what you need to do, man. You start off big you at need the to top. More. You start off big at the top, and then f***ing you've gone down and you put three things in like. You two need to uh, you need to either eat more carrots or take uh, Dr. Jim Stepani's new Vita Gym with a bunch of vitamin A. I actually, when I was younger, <laughs> I don't eat vegetables. There's a little known fact about us, Neve. I do not eat vegetables. You do eat? No, yeah, no, you don't. I eat olives. Mm. And Which potato. And potato. Potato. Potato is definitely a vegetable. Um, Mum tried to get me to eat uh, carrots when I was little, and told me that if I was if I ate them, I'd be able to see in the dark. Yeah, see through walls and shit. No, in the dark. You think Superman so I used bitch. to, I used to eat carrot, I ate carrots once, running around the front lawn in the front in the dark, mate. And didn't <laughs> see jack shit. So I never ate carrots again. <laughs> oh, Pauline, the thing she did to you. Topic one, Neve. Ah, uh, back in stock. So Concentrate. We got Barracuda back in stock. Yeah, buddy. The uh, big shipment too, man. Shit loads of Barracuda for all of you guys wanting to make gains and keep your pushy cats very well satisfied. Deaspartic acid. I heard you're a big fan of the Barracuda, Neva. Uh, I'm not actually using it, mate. You're <laughs> I wasn't talking about the supplement, mate. <laughs> Next product, Neva. Mate, I'm going to put it on there. It should say, mate. Yeah. Barracuda. Yeah, mate. Making Joe's dick hard since June 2014, mate. <laughs> no? No, I don't think so. Well, you've been using it that long, mate. Yeah, I know. I've been enjoying it thoroughly. It's almost time to cycle off and I'm not looking forward to it. And neither is my bushy cat. <laughs> <laughs> what else is coming, Neve? MTS Greens back in the MTS, house. Was trying, was gonna, what are you M doing? MTS Greens. Well, I was looking whether the lid is perforated, mate. Uh, probably someone tried to open it. faulty mate. product. Tried to get themselves some greens. Joe greens is back, man. Shitloads of that as well. Keeping you guys healthy. That's probably what you. That's that's probably why you got sick, man. What? Because we were out of greens, and next minute you got the tonsillitis. No, I was mate. triple scooping the fucking greens to get me through it, mate. Oh really? How'd that work for you? Uh, an animal pack worked well, didn't it? Yeah, mate. All healed. Hey Joe, how do you keep your prices so low? Next product, man. Stolen, but you wouldn't know, mate. <laughs> What are you talking about? You got big biogreens back in? I apologise for my uh, my sidekick Neve. He's uh, still a little bit under the weather. One, His brain's not quite functioning at, one, at 100%. One, 127 biogreens now back in stock. As yep. well as all flavours of Quest Bars. Yep. Noxygen will be back in next week. No, Noxygen will be back in tomorrow. It was supposed to be in today. It's supposed to be Monday. I don't know what me. the f it's been delayed for, but Noxygen will be back in tomorrow, which means also the Swallow Stack, stack is back. Big Biogo, Barracuda, Greens, Quest Bars. Done. Next topic of discussion, Neve. New products. Uh, Vitagym is the new product this week. Yeah, the that's it. The multivitamin by Jim Stefani. That's it. We've had a bit of a lull with new products recently. You know oh, why, got, mate? No, two landed today, mate. We're not going to go through them. No, that's for next week. But I think because what happens, mate, a lot of companies now go a little bit undercover and launch shit at the Olympia. So like the month before the Olympia and the month before the Arnold, there's like no new products. And then like the month during and the month after, a new product galore, mate. Yep. Next topic of discussion, new. Coming soon. Can I hold him up? My please? microphone's pulling my shirt down. I'm trying to show some upper chest in this bitch. Coming soon next week. <clears throat> Isotory Amino Amp. Yep. In the grape and watermelon flavor. Yep. And Isotory uh, Amino Amp as well. Well, there's a watermelon flavor. The Isotory Isotest. Isotest, which is their test booster. Looks very similar, Nevosh, on paper to the Cuda, mate. To the Barracuda. To the Barracuda. But I'll be going balls deep raw reviewing the shit out of that bitch. I'll tell you exactly the differences, mate. And then you're going to come and do a raw review on camera? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about. Oh, I get it. I get it. I know what you're talking right, about. Um, no, nah, the new products, Nevosh. Machine Fuel Berry. Mmm. An MTS Wave. Ah! 
I don't think you can announce the new flavors of MTSY yet. Uh, Low Blinder hasn't even announced them. So there's two new flavors. We may know what they are, Nevo. We do know they're right on the piece right, of paper. What primary. we'll do, what we'll do is we'll say it on camera, but we'll beep it out. And for all you lip read muff you can try and guess what flavors they are. So I'll say the first one, you say the second no, one. No, I'll say the first one. No, no, I'll no, say the first no, one. No, because it's my favorite flavor. Bitch, I'm saying the first one. The first flavor of the all new MTS way is the, <laughs> the second flavor. <laughs> there we go. So those are actually gonna leave, they're not even available in the US yet, man. But as soon as they come available, which I believe is next week, possibly the week after, we packing them bitches up, putting them bitches on a ship, send them bitches straight down under so that uh, we can get them as soon as possible. Are they gonna be available when we're in America? Nah, nah, it'll be, uh, realistically, you're looking late October, early November. No, I'm talking about for us to sample. Yeah, of course I will. Okay. Of course, man. Any um, other new products, Nebosh? No. That's it. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Hiring. Uh, so now, all right, so um, can we, no. No, no you just say we're hiring. Man. All right, we're don't hiring. Say, don't say we're, we're hiring. <laughs> we're hiring a business development assistant. Um, they'll be doing, they'll be helping me doing the sales, mm -hmm. getting back to emails, mm -hmm. processing orders, mm -hmm. pumping out orders. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be doing website content. Mm -hmm. So writing up articles, putting on athlete interviews, a lot of content related Recipe, stuff. A, very, a lot, a lot of, content. of content heavy business development assistant. If you are passionate about the uh, health and fitness industry and you can write uh, quite well and you happen to live you'll in be look, Adelaide you'll be or look, you're willing to ro relocate. No, we don't want any relocators, mate. Why not? No. Mate, if someone wants the job and they're willing to pack their shit up and come down and join us, I'll welcome them with open arms. Well, I get to sit next to you and me all day. And listen to us talk. Hey, soon. mate, I'm you. not saying I'm not I'm not saying that the job doesn't have downsides. You know what I'm saying? Mate, that's listening you and me. Argue. But it's a pretty f cool job. Let's be honest. They have to listen to us argue. For anyway, when the applications day. close, next Friday. And how do you get a job description? Email me at sales at Massive Joe's. Yep. Uh, in the future, it could be you actually emailing sales at Massive Joe's to so you be the respondee. What? <laughs> <laughs> Next topic of discussion. No, yeah, so hit me up at Sales Master Joe's. I'll hit you up a full job description. Then you message Giuseppe over here, and he Big will hose. he will put it into his little. I folder. cast I cast my uh, my wisdomful eyes over all then the applicants. Then me and Joe sit down and look through the applicants, give you a yay or nay, an interview, an interview. We don't f around when it comes to recruiting people, man. We ain't those kind of companies, man. Where they're like, hey. Brother, do you know someone that wants to work in the supplement industry? Oh yeah, I know a dude that wants to get a job in the supplement industry. You're hired, come join the team. We ain't here to do that shit, man. We got a application process, interview process, probationary period, because we're looking for the best. So it's good if you can speak good and write all right. You also your Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Neve. People's cut. So <laughs> now, <laughs> right bigger next time. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do next week? I'm gonna bring in an A4 piece of paper, mate. Like no, this. no, I wanna. With, <laughs> with, with, with Texter. Texter written all over it. Look, it's not even gonna zoom focus for it, it's so small. Look, that's the size yeah. of my finger. <laughs> and look at, it's like a third. Look, there's. Alright, next week, next week, I'll bring a whiteboard right and i'll write on, i remember writing the whiteboard behind well, the camera there's a whiteboard right here i know next topic of discussion Nick. uh people's cuts so yeah you're currently cutting for america i'm cutting for america cutting for america and maybe something else you know what i'm saying a bit of a bodybuilding show but anyway that's depends how we go dieting in america mate i'm once we get over there mate i'll be eating a lot of carbs man but anyway, <laughs> um what are we talking about? i'll be dieting just like i did last year one yeah. of these days i actually go to the u.s and enjoy the food but um, you did the sale, mate. Anyway, um, you came back pretty fat, and um, <laughs> can you tell the oh, people yeah, yeah. what so, you're trying to tell so the people, mate? Because it's coming up to summer here in Australia, yeah, the land of the free. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what the f am I saying? I don't know what. Oh, you're yeah, saying. no, because coming up to no, because coming up to summer, and a lot of people start their dieting now. Yeah, it's, shredding. It's nearly spring. Everyone's shredding, man. It's spring in about ten days. Yeah. Spring is nearly sprung. Yeah. 
And a lot, um, a lot of people, a lot of people all over the world as well may be dieting for contests, man, because a lot of the contests at the end of the year, yeah. November, December, some at the end of October. So a few people have been hitting up saying like, how do I drop calories? How do I maintain as much muscle mass? Where yeah. do I go? What do I, how do I find my maintenance calories? Yeah. How much do I drop by? What do I drop first? Do I drop carbs? Do I drop fats? Yep. Do I drop protein? Yep. Yep. Cetera, how do I, how do, they just want to know, knee boss, how to diet, how to, how to get shredded. So Joseph did his People's Cut video. Yep. Uh, in detail, was it a series? It's a six video series, yeah. man. That and went uh, from 15 weeks out right up to four weeks post contest, man. Six videos t- shows you exactly how I got in shape for my contest at the start this year. And also, Massive Joe's Thoughts. Yes, the Cutting Chronicles, mate. It's not really a chronicle because it's only one. Well, it's 45 minutes, though. But it's not it's really long as f. It's not really a chronicle. But it's one video, 45 thought, minutes, and goes to, through exactly to link, how to structure a cut. I tried to link someone the other day to the Cutting Chronicles. I could only find episode one. Find out the Chronicle was just one. <laughs> oh, f- I, I legit did that on Destroy. Saturday. For 20 minutes, I was looking through the YouTube channel looking for part two of the Cutting Chronicles. And this is what happens when you don't watch my videos, mate. I don't want to hear your voice. Next topic of discussion. Actually, before we, uh, what we'll do is we'll link uh, in the description box below a link to the Cutting Chronicles, the 45 minute video, and a link to the People's Cut, the entire six video series. Next topic of discussion, Neef. To Team J part two. Yeah, so now, uh, Las Vegas. So part two of our trip, man. So we finish in LA, we uh, hire a Hummer, yeah. And we're driving to Las Vegas. With Mark. We get with into load liner. yeah with load liner. We get into Las Vegas Thursday night. Thursday night we're training and having dinner with the guys from Stacked or Stack 3D. If you happen to be aware, big bloggers in the US. They do like supplement reviews and shit. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah, so we're doing that. Then Friday, we uh, actually over the whole Olympia period, we've got some pretty cool things booked in. A lot of it's still uh, tentatively booked in because it's a very busy period, man. And we got the Mr. Olympia prejudging on Friday night. And Pushy, the Mr. And Olympia, Terry Pushycat's Pushy birthday. The Mr. Olympia final was on Saturday night. So we ca- I can tell you what we've got in the works, but the actual dates and times I can't tell you. So we've got the stack thing. We got a collab with Isatori over in over in um, at the Olympia in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. We're trying to team something up with my brother Ulysses Junior, mate, over in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. We're trying to team something up with our good friends at Optimum Nutrition, plus our good friends at BSN, plus our good friends at Purist Labs, Nevosh. And I think that's it at the moment. Very nice. I think that's stage two. And And then stage three, which we'll discuss next week, we hop on a plane out of Las Vegas and head up to Chicago. Um, We're staying at the Have I missed anything? We're staying at the Bellagio. Yeah, yeah, staying at the Bellagio. Pay us a visit if you uh, happen to be in Las Vegas for the Olympia. Just knock on every room in the I feel like I'm forgetting something over the Olympia weekend. We're going to see the Olympia. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And going to the expo. Yeah, yeah. And a bunch of video content, of course, workouts and shit, Las Vegas Athletic Club, Gobs Gym, all up in them bitches, man. Yeah. Anyway, next topic of discussion, Neve. Ask Neve. Let's go. We're going to be quick with these, man. First question, Drew Yeah wants to know, I'm cutting down now, but I plan to start my bulk again soon. How much weight should I be putting on weekly to ensure I'm putting on muscle without getting fat? Well, you got to... Uh, Put a number on it, man. He wants a number. How much weight should say, I be putting on weekly? I'm going to say maybe... Not even half a kilo. Yeah, I go 300 grams when I'm bulking, man. 300 grams a week, man. Um, I'm gonna say 250 because any, uh, yeah, you get if you're putting on like a kilo a week, it's gonna be fat. Yeah, fat as. One stage, I was putting on a kilo a day, mate. Yeah, I don't believe that. I was like, but a kilo a week, you were, you were getting thick as you were getting. No, that was like when I was 19. You know, yeah. mate, you know what, you know what that is. What? That's gains right there. <laughs> Next question. Oslin wants to know your thought on occlusion training. I did it, me and Jez did it for the first time two weeks ago on mm. leg extensions at the end. Mm. It, it, it does very hurt, mm. a lot. Um, I, I mean, post-workout I didn't get, there was, I didn't have any more like soreness or, I didn't really notice anything, mate. Yeah, I think it's dangerous. I That's I, just my thoughts, man. I mean, you're trying to restrict blood flow, you're building up toxins and shit and working muscles and shit's <laughs> Next question, Kim Tran, forever bulking Nevos Norris. That's a cool one, I like that. Nevos Norris, like Chuck Norris, man. Yeah. Do you ever take breaks from pre-workouts and if so, for how long? Uh, sometimes I go stim free pre-workout. I don't normally go... Um, completely off. Completely off. You don't go cold turkey in this bitch. What I do is I just have a stimulant that's very low in caffeine mm. and stimulants. 
I mean, I, I like Clash because Clash doesn't fucking hit me like shit like the other ones. Mm. Like, even if I'm not, like, I mean, a serving size of Clash is two scoops. Mm. I'll just have half a scoop. I'll just have one scoop of Clash. Mm. Chuck in some Noxygen, mate. Mm. It's called the half small stack. It's called the Joe stack. <laughs> Strong claim. You and Eve, I'm a college student. I start my day at 5.30 in the morning between 6 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. I have one macrolution shake, one carbolic shake, one MTS green shake, two scoops of MTS whey and three servings of true mass, which is nine scoops. Damn! That cookies and cream is good. Is having all of these liquid meals instead of solid meals hurting my gains, mate? Yeah, mate, you gotta eat some food. I hope that you're actually eating on top of that, man. I hope that's not your diet, like no, all liquid. Because you're not. I'm going to assume that he's eating and then the liquid's on top of that. I don't know, man, because he's got one. That's a lot, isn't two. it? Three servings. Of, no, I think he's just on that liquid diet. Yeah, man. no, you got to eat That's going to be fed up for your gastrointestinal man, system, man. Have fun. When was the last time you took a solid shit? <laughs> have fun <laughs> shit through the eye of a needle 20 minutes <laughs> after you have your <laughs> true mass, mate. Yeah, get some solid meals in there, man. I'd, I'd like at them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Elia Hugh the server wants to know I made some noticeable improvements and I'm beginning to get some of that there calf action but when I train them I can't complete my set properly due to the burn in the bottom of my foot rather than my calves any advice from that there pushy cat Schleyer um, I think Jones, I think he's referring to you <laughs> um, I think you need to uh, Joe always says to point your toes up yeah and that'll stop the hurting. Yeah. Maybe, now I've had a bunch of people I train cars with, man. Maybe your foot yeah. placement isn't quite right as well. Yeah, but generally, what the 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 uh, if this is your foot, if you can imagine like this is your foot, what the the stress down the middle of your foot is caused by is when people do calf raises, they curl their toes like this, and then I'd be raising them bitches, and it puts a lot of stress under here in your foot. And maybe so if you not, point your toes up, it takes the stress out of your and foot. And I reckon you're not maybe not quite right on the ball of your foot either. Yeah, that might be it as well. Kai Williams wants to know: Should you have a rest day the same day as your cheat day? Also, I want to compete in a, no. And one question, Kai. Answer the question, then. Oh, what was that again? Should you have rest day the same as your... Should... Should you have... What the f***? Should you have the rest day the same day as your cheat day? So do you cheat on your rest day? Well, me and Joe, That's what he's trying to ask. I'm going to be um, honest. We were discussing this yeah, in the office. Yeah, still today. asked us. That's what I was mm. going to say. I'm going to be honest. Is you and I were discussing this. Mm. Personally, you and I both have our cheat meal. Yeah. After one of our lagging muscle groups. That's right. I train, I mean, I want, everyone wants big legs. So I train legs on a Saturday Arvo after I finish work at MJDC. I'll finish work at three, at like four. I'll go train quads from like four to six or 4.30 to six. Then I have my post-workout shake and then I'll go have my cheat meal at like mm. seven. So I'm getting in a lot of calories post-workout yeah. of, my, of my quad day. So I'm getting in mm. more calories than what I normally do. A lot of carbs. So I mean, personally, I have it after a weak muscle group. Yeah, and I don't, I don't have yeah. it on. A, I don't have it on a rest day because I mean, you having all those extra calories, you having all those extra carbs, you having all those extra. You're not using them, bitches, man. You're not using them. Mm. So I mean, at least at least if you've trained beforehand or you've done something, your body's yeah. just going to be using them for help with recovery. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Having, Follow bro having, science if yeah. you will, but it is de- it's definitely bro science. It's anecdotal, but I believe that it works, man. I think have your cheat meal on workouts after you hit your weakest muscle groups. Next question, Neve Barney Ong is back. Wants to know- Hi, Barney, mate. Nevos, I find that when I do my leg press, then move on to the hack squat machine, I have to drop the weight down drastically to a third of the weight I was pushing on the leg press. So if he's pushing like, let's say, 300, I don't know, 300, 300 on a leg press, he's doing 100 on a hack squat, man. I mean, that's... Is thing. this usually the case? I see you guys putting a hell of a lot of weight on the hack squat machine as well as the leg press. I'm going to say someone like Joey, it is. Like, even like a half the weight. Uh, I mean, you can f***ing leg press four, 500 kilos. Yeah. You're only, le- you're only hack squatting maybe 250. 200, 250. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's about right. I wouldn't weight, say a third, yeah. but about half the weight. At least, well, yeah, a third to... Especially Barney, because because the hack squat is going to be t- t- focusing on more jug- quads. It's going to be isolating your quads. Whereas on your hack drops. Or, or whereas on your um, leg, leg press, press, you're going to be running your quads. And you're still going to be using your hammies, you're going to be using your glutes. Glutes is a big one on leg press. So, yeah. I mean, you're going to be using f-ing a lot more muscles. So, yeah. yeah, you're going to move more weight on the leg press, especially yeah. doing it first as well. Just, man, the, the main thing is go as heavy as you can for good quality reps, man. Don't, don't give a f about the weight. I'm about the weight. Don't I don't even know what I put in the hack press. 200, 220, I don't give a f- 
I don't even know what I'd it probably, is. Like, I'd probably do half the weight, at least on the hatch. Yeah, spot. I would say half. Next question, Kyle King. Ask Neve, are you, uh, when you are sick like you were, Neve, are you better off half-assing workouts for a week or take three or so days off and come back fresh? I, took, I started off half-assing my workouts. Bad idea, man. And you got to rest. Yeah, I, and I do, it just made me sicker. You're so not going to go to the gym when you're sick and give 100%, man. So yeah. You may as well go home and sleep. I had, this ch- I had this chat with Jez because Jez was sick the same time I was. Yeah, man. I mean, Jez, yeah, Jez had three or four days off and, yeah. he, and he got straight over it. He didn't f-ing do like I yeah. did and half assed my workouts for three days, which yep. just prolonged it and made me sicker. That's it, man. Conley Lawrence wants to know, why does Joe always say we aren't here to f- spiders? Have you ever tried to f- spider it's quite difficult <laughs> what does that actually mean though i take it because that's quite that's a saying that's quite um it's like it's almost one of our, our in-house sayings mate. we're not here to like it means we're not here to f- around like we're not here to we're not here to stuff around because if you were thinking man conley think about it man if you had a spider and you tried to f- that spider you think about how long it would take you to actually f- that spider mate, probably, and that's a lot of time wasted man Roll up in a little ball, mate. Put in your jackpot. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to take it one step, don't you? <laughs> man, I'll give you an inch, take a mile. Give, 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 give you rope. Unless it's like a fucking like trench or a booting spider, mate. Uh, mate, I don't want to go. Oh, do you want Next like- question. <laughs> Nick Castro wants to know what would be a good food source for a fast digesting carb post workout. Mm, uh, I don't know. Dextrose. Pineapple. Pineapple. No. No, he said a fast. food. He said a food. Oh, a food source. Yeah. Well, dextrose is food. Well, it's not. He it's means like food. a whole food source. Yeah. What? That's why I said pineapple, but. Shit, post workout, man. I don't really know. Like, fructose is, is really not the Actually, kind of... ask me this a little. You need glucose. You don't want fructose. Because like... fructose replaces liver glycogen. Hmm. You need glucose to replace muscle glycogen. So, anything that's got glucose in it, man, that's naturally occurring. No, it's not really As a whole food source, man, you're gonna have trouble finding it. To be honest, you probably you're gonna no, like, you're gonna ha- you're gonna have trouble finding it. Some like whole food like you're gonna have to have like the lollies or mm. yeah, which is processed, iron, which is stuff iron sugar, which is processed, so it's not a whole food. Yeah, actually asked me this last. Question. Actually asked me this last week, and I didn't. I'm know. actually stumped. Have dextrose and then have your. I'm interested, actually, viewers at home, if you can think of a whole food source that's really good post workout, like a, a whole food source of glucose or deglucose or dextrose, man, let us know. Hmm. I actually am stumped by that question. Last three questions, Neve. Mitchell, Neve, Mitch, Mitchell Weaver. When's the series on bulking coming? The bulking Bible, Nebosh. Well, the incredible bulk. Where's it coming? We were discussing this on Monday night, bitch. It was Tuesday. No, it was Monday night. It was Monday night, man. It was after we trained back. Well, we did cardio for now in 10 minutes because we got lost. We did. Um, you and I are both going to revert. Uh, to f- you're looking about November, December. Yeah, it depends man. what you're doing yeah. early next year. I don't. It depends if End you compete early next year. But I I'm not be competing early next year. You're you not doing Arnold? Nah, man. Okay. No. Nah. Well, I, oh, yeah, I need to put on some. Oh. I, need to, I need to get. Yeah. I need to make so what me and Joel some games. What me and Joel are both doing is we're actually going to make a video series together. Yeah. Well, I maybe, wouldn't go so far as to say together, knee boss. Um, I would go so far as to say you may be making some cameo guest appearances yeah. in this bitch. But I'll be following. I, I'm not going to sit here and talk because I don't. I get sick of talking. Yeah. Of but Joey is going. Let me just ask the f-ing question. Answer the f-ing question. So when we get back from America. We're going to reverse diet. It's pissing me off, man. We're going to reverse diet out of our um, diet. And going to try and put on some weight. And we're going to be doing some few different things to assist with bulking while still staying relatively lean. That's it. It's going to be called the incredible bulk, man. But not Keep the fat. The incredible it. not. Next lean, question. The incredible me. lean, not fat bulk. Okie dokie owner wants to know how did Neve build such a crazy quad sweep, man? Um. I, I got no idea. Genetics. Genetics. Just genetics. I can't really. Some people like, got big quad sweeps, some people got big teardrops, man. I got non existent teardrops. And you just have massive quad sweep. Just genetics. Probably got to do with like the way your knees roll and your ankles roll and your yeah. hips bend and all that kind of shit. Like, Physio when, could tell you, man. Last question, Neve. Did you ever see Marco the, Lowe? Did you ever see the TV show Okie Doke? No. And it was like a it was a it was a dude and he was actually like an oak tree? No. And he used to go around helping everyone? Never seen that shit, man. Last question, Neve. Mark Lowe. He lived in a treehouse with a slide, man. He used to go down the slide and help people in the village. You know what, man? <laughs> Marco Lowe used to go down sliding. What's the answer to this question? What do you think about that? 
<laughs> Zneev. Should I be worried about DOMS? It happens to me every time I hit the gym doing powerlifting style lifting program. Example, legs on a Tuesday, but I won't get crazy sore till Thursday or Friday. Mate, why would you be worrying about, why would you be worrying about DOMS? It means you're f***ing hitting the workout, mate. The, the DOMS means gains, man. Well, I don't necessarily. You, no. If you don't get DOMS, it's not a bad thing. No, I think it is a bad thing. I think if you're not getting DOMS, you're not training, man. Personally, You're Marco, not training hard enough. Or you, you may be training hard enough, but you're not making your body guess, man. When you're doing DOMS, it means you're pushing your body to do something it doesn't want to do, man. That's why I get sore as f***ing. You know what happens when you get sore as f***ing, e boss? Uh, sorry, I wasn't listening. That's games right there! Um, personally, me and Joey still get DOMS every single session. Like, yeah. we train chest Tuesday night together. My chest is Oh, that was yeah. hit by the mic. It's you hit sore, the mic, mate. Did I? Sorry, man. Let's try that. Yeah, and my back. My lats are still sore from Monday. My hamstrings are killing like me from last night. My hamstrings man. are sore from Starting last to night. Starting to come in now. I'm, I hurt sitting here, man. My, my shoulders even pushing my, up the chair. Be honest, chair. my shoulders, so, my shoulders are fucking sore from Sunday night, mate. I'm Do you know really, Sunday night? I went to any time. Yeah. Left my beats by Dre in the locker. You're kidding went me. Went there last night. Still, still there, there, mate. Fuck mate. Um, what you, happened to people of Adelaide, oh, trustworthy to, people. Joshua wants to know what happened to Jack Perry with TMJ in the gym. Oh yeah, quick. Finish um, off with Jack Perry and then we'll tell the viewers so Jack, to... Uh, Jack uh, has just had a little baby, so he yeah, has... Little Sienna. Other his, priorities. His, first, and he also, his firstborn child, his daughter. And everyone, I, I know some people think that we're against CrossFit here at Massive Joe's, where of course we're not, we're f***ing a massive supporter of CrossFit. We are. But Jack... I a, don't, listen to me, I don't mind the odd mem taking the piss out of yeah. CrossFitters every now and again. Just like they don't mind the odd mem taking the piss out of bodybuilders. It's all yeah. fun. It's all but, it's all fun and games. Let me tell you the story. Is Jack is actually doing CrossFit at the moment. So he does CrossFit in the mornings. Mm. So he's actually, we have, in Adelaide here, we've got cross, CrossFit Wars? Cross Wars? Uh, fit Wars. Fit Wars, yeah, that's it, man. Yeah. So Jack is actually competing at the next Fit Wars. So he's actually competing at the next CrossFit Games here in Adelaide. That's it. So keep your eyes peeled for Jack Oz. Yeah. But that's what he's doing. Like, so he's not actually going and doing his bro split like we do at night. That's why he's not in TMJ, man. Yeah, in, he, the, uh, in the gym with TMJ. He's Jack. doing his... In the gym with Team Massive But if you follow Jack on Instagram... Yep. Jack Perry underscore MJ. Uh, you actually see a lot of his uh, CrossFit. CrossFit exercises, like his snatches and his hang cleans and his... Yeah, all that. And his deadlifts all and that bloody snap sim bullshit and front squats and yeah so he, look what look check him out on there i can't do crossfit i tried a few times man F me up yeah it brought out all of those niggling injuries i used to have when yours, i played basketball yours, when i was younger man F me up yeah because you're as you're as flexible as a dead cat mate knee boss dead cat stiff mate they've got the the old rig and water to set in mate mate speaking of um flexibility and stiffness and dead cats and other things of that nature do you have anything <laughs> else you'd like to add <laughs> Before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button. I'm looking awfully f***ing white tonight, man. <laughs> I just noticed just that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word. And guys, that is Massive Joe's Weekly Word. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. <laughs>